Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben from Profixer, and today on the bench I have an HDMI port repair for a PS4. This is actually a really common repair that we see a lot. I don't know if it's just a design flaw, which it possibly could be, but a lot of these are actually physically bent, so I guess it's people moving them around or dropping them or whatnot with the HDMI cord plugged in. Uh, but either way, they got to be replaced, and so I'm going to show you how to replace those. I'm going to explain most every single step in here. Um, it's kind of a long video, um, but it's uh, going to be really detailed. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to get some tips and things like that on how to replace some of the PS4 HDMI's that are coming into your shop so you can be a little more profitable because um, it definitely is a is a pretty good uh, profitable repair. The port does not cost a lot. Um, it's not too labor intensive. It is uh, you know moderately skilled um, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, so in this particular part here uh, the iron that I'm using is actually a Hakko FX888 and uh, just have it set to 750 degrees have just the regular uh, kind of like a chisel tip I guess on there and it's uh, like two and a half millimeters wide I believe it's kind of a large tip it's it's pretty big it's definitely a lot bigger than the pins but that's gonna help us a lot with uh, heat transfer uh, so what I've done here I've added flux and I'm adding low melt and I actually have the sticks of low melt which work really well um, so uh, you want to feed into each side on the anchors themselves about maybe half of an inch on each side and make sure that you hold your iron in place so that the uh, so that the heat actually transfers. Uh, you want to make sure that the board is getting uh, kind of hot as well. You don't just want to heat up the middle part of the board or the middle part of the port because that is not going to help the HDMI come off. You actually want the heat to transfer into the actual green PCB board, and uh, and from there, um, you know you'll get you know enough heat and you'll be able to pull this port off with the use of some hot air. Uh, so after we've done the left. Uh, side, the right side, we want to hit the pins on the back side. And there's actually some uh, low melt left on my uh, soldering tip. So just uh, applying that there and making sure we get all the way to the edges. And, uh, and remember that you need to actually touch every single pin. Just because you're within the vicinity and the tip of the iron seems very hot, it may not be enough and probably won't if you don't actually touch the actual pin. So make sure you're touching every single pin. That will accelerate and uh, uh, you know the transfer of your low melt as well as just the heat um, and it makes it a lot easier to pull the port off and so what I'm doing here have my hot air set uh, to about 415 and uh, the airflow is about three quarters or uh, yeah about three quarters um, you know to full um, it's not quite full but um, but it's uh, three quarters um, as far as uh, the speed and uh, have that placed underneath got a tip on there or a nozzle on there and it's a pretty large one but it's not huge uh, but it's big enough that it uh, covers about three quarters of the bottom side of the port is about three quarters of the width so it's kind of a large uh, nozzle on there uh, but what I'm doing I have that angled underneath and it's kind of blowing towards me not underneath the board but it's blowing up underneath the board and towards me um, at that angle and then I'm using the iron on top to heat the anchors on the HDMI port uh, the reason for this is it helps to heat underneath, so you're heating up the PCB board, and then also you're heating up the port, and together um, you'll actually you know, fully penetrate the board um, with heat and that low melt, and then your port will come off just like it did there. So it came off pretty easily. Yeah, it didn't take too long at all. And, um, and so in this next part, um, we want to clean up all of the solder joints, and they're pretty easy to clean up. Um, and you'll just get some braid and I've left the flux on there, I didn't add any more flux we don't really need any more at this point um, but get all the actual HDMI contact pins and if you do this right after you remove the port it'll still be hot enough that it'll wick it away and your braid won't stick at all um, if you wait too long the PS4 board since it's so dense It'll probably wick away a lot of heat and then your braid will start to stick a little bit or it'll start to kind of solder itself back on. Um, that is uh, uh, something that you want to make sure you keep in mind. Just right after you pull that port off, go ahead and clean up those HDMI contact pins. Here, I'm cleaning off some of the burnt up flux and that will become some new flux on there because uh, this flux is heated. It does wear out and it doesn't work as well. So I uh, want to make sure we keep some fresh flux on here. And don't need to do a stellar job at cleaning it up. And you can see a very slight residue, but definitely want all the chunks and uh, you know most of the residue cleaned up. Uh, so here I'm putting some 
flux on the actual anchors and I've cut some braid uh, that I'm putting on there as well and I'm uh, gonna put one on each side and I'm uh, gonna get the hot air and go from underneath and this once again is gonna heat up the bottom of the PCB board and then I'm gonna follow it up with the iron on top and this way you get those holes completely clean um, I have seen some other videos and some other techniques where people won't clean these holes at all because they'll be filled at the low melt so they do you know melt at a relatively low melting point which is okay um, so if you're pretty uh, pretty skilled and you've done a lot of these HDMI ports um, you don't actually have to clean these you can actually heat up the bottom of the board and uh, drop the port back on and they'll actually slide into those anchors because they will be molten at that point um, but just uh, uh, you know as far as this technique goes it's pretty bulletproof and especially for beginners it uh, it's really easy uh, but there I just put the tweezers into the anchor holes to make sure that there was no solder in there and they went through just fine and then we're gonna follow it up again and clean up all of the flux and uh, just because this next part we're actually gonna tin the uh, uh, the pads uh, for the HDMI pins uh, so once again just clean it up a little bit and uh, getting all the little chunks and then you have know, the uh, darkened pieces off of there that way it's you know for the most part clean um, and ready for uh, the application new solder and so on this next part you want to make sure that you get your flux handy and uh, just go ahead and put a little bit of flux on those pads and go ahead and tin up your uh, soldering iron tip uh, with some solder I'm using some 6040 and uh, then we'll just go ahead and touch these pins here and the main thing that you'll notice is if you're not hot enough because we have been cleaning up the board and the board is cooling down because we're not using a lot of hot air underneath you'll probably notice that the solder is getting a little bit muddy hold it in place if you notice that there's a pin or two that aren't flowing that well and um, I like to move in line with the um, shape of those pins um, because it helps to drag that solder across those pads and lay it pretty evenly but if you have any that are kind of acting a little muddy or kind of a little thick then hold down and it'll heat up that PCB board a little bit better and let it flow onto that actual pad so next part is going to be to grab your HDMI port line it up and it should fit perfectly down into those anchor holes I generally like to place it in the holes and then pull the port towards you that way it does expose a little bit of the pad um, where the pin of that HDMI port is sitting uh, those little gold pins right there in the middle and that way it gives you the ability to touch the pad with your soldering iron and as well the pin and the the thermal transfer and in my experience is a little bit easier that way versus if you push the port um, you know backwards into those anchor holes it'll cover up most of that pad and it makes it a little bit harder to solder so here I'm just heating up from the bottom and we've already tinned the the pads for the HDMI pins and so they do have a little bit of solder on them and so basically what we're wanting to do is heat up the board hot enough that it moltens those pins and I'm just kind of waiting on that here it does take a few seconds to do um, but using my tweezers on top to jiggle the port a little bit this does not accelerate any of the thermal transfer but it just helps me to see which pins are molten because you can then because then you can then see the pin moving in that solder and uh, here I'm going pulling that port towards me so it exposes some of that uh, pad underneath and then I'm pushing down with my tweezers to hold that HDMI in port as the board cools down enough so that the solder solidifies so now at this point we have anchored in um, as far as on the HDMI pins at least our HDMI port and so we're gonna apply a little bit of flux right there in the middle and then we are going to solder those so cleaning off your and make sure that your uh, the, the tip of your soldering iron is clean and of course before you actually tin those um, make sure that it was clean and free of any kind of low melt um, but here I have a little bit of solder on the actual soldering tip of the iron and I'm going and touching each of the pins and as you can see the tip of the soldering iron is huge and you're probably thinking how are you able to solder 
so many small pins with such a huge soldering iron, aren't you going to bridge them all? You do bridge them and it's fine because you can unbridge them easily. Because the HDMI port on the PS4 or the board is so dense, it's going to be wicking away your heat super quickly. So if you use a smaller tip, it makes it very, very hard to get enough thermal transfer a lot of the times. And especially if you're new to this, a, a larger tip does actually work better. And so as you can see here, um, I'm, I'm kind of poking at the back side of the pins. And as you pull away, that solder should jump um, off of the pins and it should as you can see here, I'm on the right side and I moved it over onto the left a little bit. And as I'm tapping on the pins or, you know, touching them, the solder starts to unbridge itself. If you have too much solder, you can then uh, clean the soldering tip and go back to soldering those pins again with a little bit less solder on the tip. And then it'll transfer some of that solder to your um, the tip on the iron or to some of the other pins. Um, but pretty soon you'll have it like mine where you don't have any solder bridging anymore. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm adding solder to the anchors and it's probably not going to look pretty because uh, like I was talking about before, the, the board on these PS4s is super dense. So it is going to wick away tons and tons of heat. Your solder is probably going to be pretty muddy feeling and it's not going to look very nice. It's going to be a little bit uh, spiky most likely, um, but that's okay. Just put enough solder on there so you have kind of little you know not bubbles but just like a little mound of solder on each side and uh and i said that pretty conservatively you don't want tons and tons of solder but enough that whenever the solder flows it is enough to fill the anchor hole and to uh, actually anchor in that hdmi port uh, so what we're doing now i got hotter from the bottom and heating up the board once it gets you know, a little bit warm, I'm going to use my soldering iron from the top. And as you can see, I've waited a minute. You don't want to rush this because you want to heat up the board and then you want to touch very lightly from the sides. And if you can see, you'll see that solder flow and it's going to jump right down into those holes, into those anchor holes. And you don't want to push very hard or else you're going to dislodge your whole port and you're going to disturb all the solder joints that you've made on those HDMI pins, but after I've done the sides and gotten those to flow, I held it on there for just a little bit longer until I saw all of the HDMI pins flow. And it smooths those joints out and uh, you know just helps to finalize that final solder joint with all the fillets on it. Uh, but now, if you can see, we have all of the port soldered. We have the anchors on the side done. We have all the pins in the back done. And now all that's left to do is clean it up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. I use 99% isopropyl. Uh, it works really nicely to get all the flux out of here. And I clean it up with a Q-tip to get most of the you know gunk and the residue off of there. And once I'm sure that I got all the big you know chunks and most of it all out of there, I do use a toothbrush to clean it up as well to kind of get in between all the little pins and then blow it out with some uh, canned air. Um, but this is how you solder an HDMI port on a PS4. Hopefully you found it interesting. We'll be doing some more in-depth videos, uh, you know, when it comes down to HDMI ports. And so uh, stay tuned for other videos on our channel and subscribe. But hope you all found this interesting and useful. Y'all have a great one.